a deal right ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky come get high with me that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right hey coming down like precipitation I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win in my I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bank rolls and roll leave. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? 
Ay, 12 can't really stop. So I'm still pushing like a mosh pit. Ice dripping, think I'm hot. In a yellow bucket with a mop stick. I've been jugging jams like wholesale. Everything must go sale. Hitting with the old well. Need a hundred million on the low scale. On my worst night, I'm the best. Wouldn't mess with you, couldn't cap to him. Homie spotted me like 700, brought 1100 right back to him. If I can't do it, then it ain't real. I just make dollars, I don't make deals. I've been going hard in the paint, still blowing cush clouds till I can't feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like. 550 on the five, get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide. It with me if is you that like time. Five fifty on the five sticky, come get high with Man, me. Man, there were so many right. things that's I forgot to do. Right. That's a bet, right? But tis right. what it is. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? in the house. T thirteen. Hey, welcome to the stream, my man. Asking for Demeter, we will definitely take a take. Be happy to take a look at that. Let's go. Might help if I turn my microphone on. Y'all guys might be able to hear what I'm saying over here. So sorry. Welcome to the live stream. Late night crypto uh, charts with the road dog. That's me. If you didn't know, I've been here and sitting here being a little chatty Cathy to myself with the microphone on. I apologize. I'm trying to work out a few little sound issues that we've got going on here. And uh, dang it, if it ain't something, just always catching me. If you're new to the stream, hey, I'm here almost every night around 11 o'clock p.m. on the Eastern Standard Time Zone. We just take a look at the charts, looking at Bitcoin, looking at the overall market, and hopefully come across a few gems. Going over my version of technical analysis, which is basically based on pattern trading and incorporating some other little ticks, tricks of the trade that I pick up along the way. My work is based mostly on Thomas Bukowski. He is my hero. His work has been just life changing. So if you hear me quoting statistics, more than likely that is where that come from. I do try to sort these sizes. I do try to sort my cite my sources rather than just be that random guy on the internet sporting out any number that just happens to come to his head 68% of the time. So, welcome to the show. We're here looking at the 15-minute chart here on Bitcoin. Why? Because if Bitcoin ain't happy, baby, there ain't nobody happy in this whole crypto market. We got to see what she up to, baby. And after this big long drop, and this is basically the bottom of it, when it came all the way back down to 25,000. Oh, on this particular chart on Coinbase, 25 to 28. Your mileage may vary depending on what exchange that you got liquidated on. But now we have that big old spike there. And to me, hence the weird, crazy thumbnail that I have tonight. When these patterns are first starting out, you know, you you got this drop down right here. And then you got like this, it it almost looks like a well, like a woman's shoe to me, right? And that's kind of how I see them start. And a lot of times you might see this particular pattern that we're going to go over inside of it. This particular pattern that I'm going to present to you on this wonderful evening is called an Adam and Eve a, a pattern. It's a bottoming pattern that you use to find on the bottoms unless you find them on the tops and they're usually upside down or right side up depending on how you look at it. Right here, Adam's kind of droopy. He's not feeling good. If I were to say, I would think this looks more like an Adam laying on his belly than an Adam and Eve. But who am I to say? This pattern 
is not really confirmed until we get above this neckline and that is this orange line right here now bear in mind i'm on the 15 minute but we are at the bottom area and on the 15 minutes this is where the miracles happen because my theory is we're getting ready to go up for a short little bit we're going to do by my theory a bearish retest of a larger pattern we got to get back up to around 27 maybe maybe up 28 that'd be cool and then well we got to figure out what's going on from there but we should get a nice little up kick before too long rather than just following back down is what this pattern is suggesting So that's nice trying to play that and I'm trying to play it like a crazy fool with Bitcoin leverage. Road Dog just took a break. Road Dog just forgot he had a microphone button, man. I apologize for that. I'm gonna do it. Hey, right, right, right. What I was going to do that I didn't do. Sorry if I'm skipping around on you. Um, there's, like I said earlier, there's a few little bit of sound issues that I'm trying to work on while we're going over this. Not it. There we go, baby. Thank you very much. Oh, I think you're right. I own it right here. And maybe, just maybe, that might be what we're looking for. Okay, my peeps. So overall, now a lot of times with these patterns, before you get your official confirmation of, you know, that that's what they are, for the com from confirmed to be valid. Remember, according to Bukowski, it's got to break above the neckline for it's valid. Right now, it's still a possibility because Things can go to hell in the handbasket rather quick in crypto, if you haven't noticed with this big ginormous drop we just had a couple of days ago. I mean, we're, we foretold and foresaw, possibly down to about 27, but down this low, 25. I mean, you know, we can say anything's possible, but that one's outside the scope of my radar. It was a little more extreme than what I was counting on, like sure it can happen, but really thought that 200, me and average had her back on the daily, man. Let me down 200. But this area that we're at, unique opportunity. Perfect if you're DCAing, hey. And you haven't nibbled at Bitcoin right now. What? Man, what's wrong with you? What's going on with you, man? Why are you in this game if you ain't nibbling at the Bitcoin? Everybody's go go to the Bitcoin has got it's the teat. We got to go nibble at the teat of Bitcoin. If you ain't nibbling on Bitcoin, man, I don't know what to say to you. You're buying all these Edu coins, man. Yeah, I know it's sucks it sucks especially when you sell all you know <laughs> sell all your bitcoin for four hundred dollars <laughs> yeah guilty and i'm just trying to match the amount of bitcoin that i had way back in that day oh gosh i would be so happy we all make mistakes. We all didn't learn, but one mistake that we should not make is not to collect this Bitcoin, especially when it drops down a little bit. I'm telling you, 18 runs from now, you're gonna say, man. Strega says he will never learn. So basically, let me skip out of this and we'll just kind of roll this on up. Let me find a cleaner chart here. <laughs> Clearly, I've just been testing this idea on all kinds of charty charts. Uh, 
Okay, we'll use this one. I don't want to lose my picture. Oh, the picture just gets annoying. Okay, put it in the corner. Put it in the bag. Here's the deal for my outlook on Bitcoin, okay? I mean, we'll go over this quickly. Trend 9, broke it, bad news, bad mojo, no bueno, don't like it, not very happy about it. Good news is, still, low, low, higher high. Higher low, I'm sorry, higher low, higher high, higher low. I hate when people do this, higher high, still higher low. As long as we don't go back down below that little bottom point, and right now, clearly, it doesn't seem like we want to at the moment, and this is the weekend with low liquidity. We got a chance to be coming back up now. Are we gonna go crazy? No, 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 no. But we got a chance to make some decent gains from where we are right now at 26,000, back up to um, about 20, right at 28. Thousand. So from 26 to 27, 26 to 28,000, we got a little playground that we can mess with. And if you're leverage trading and, and doing that kind of stuff, which I don't advocate if you're brand new, if you're, if you're spot trading, you need to be nibbling at this little baby. That's what I'm saying. If you're leverage trading, well, you probably still need to be nibbling at this baby very cautiously, depending on your leverage. But we should have a nice little gain, a nice little 10% move there, wasn't it? I'm sorry, forgive me, 7% move, all right? Depending on, do you know, 10% lever or 10X, 70%. But we're looking at that wick and then our little stiletto pattern we had there breaking up. Come back up here around this area, anywhere above this 200, maybe just to this 200, 27, 400 currently, and a bearish retest. Now, we've been respecting this trend line so long. It is only fitting that it comes back up and gives us a little goodbye kiss before it comes on down and sideways. Now, am I saying that Bitcoin is just going to, after that, just go to hell in a handbasket? Well, no, there's some levels that it could go to. We got to see what it's got going on. In my personal opinion, and I've said this a lot, this is a lot like, it reminds me a lot like 2019. And to exemplify this fact very quickly again. Here we are. 2019. I'm talking about this little area right here. Not over here. Not, not in this crazy area. This is the COVID stuff, right? You guys can't even see, man. I'm barely seeing my screen. You guys are watching on a mobile device. You can't even see what I'm talking about. Not this area. I'm talking about this area. So here was the biggest peak up to like 20,000, right? And this was kind of the, this was the leveled out area. This is where it was stuck for the longest time. This is like our 30,000 range where we were just stuck for the longest. This, this area reminds me of what we're doing over here. So I think we got our little drawback. And I could be totally wrong. Totally wrong. Give me that. That was, uh, this area would have been about to May 2019. The happening came not, I think it came around April. So we're looking about that time window, and this is what played out. Maybe it was March. No, I'm pretty sure. March, April area, right after all the bad stuff happened. Um, that's when we had our happening, right? And, and this is what it looked like up to, we had a nice little run up. And so we had this run up to 30, and we're coming back down. So getting a, a little bit of a retracement there. This particular move up 
And y'all, excuse me, I, I forget what time frame it is. I'd be on. <laughs> Looking at the structure here, but all this before the happening, right? So let's just base this off of the happening schedule, which would be right here. Our period in time basically being just that many months earlier. Kind of not 886 retracement all the way. And that's because crap just hit the fan. From that high down to there, 70% drop. Ouchy, ouch. But mostly it hung around the 618 area. So, okay, cool. Don't, don't do that. So it's 618 area, and that's where we got our little box here. Now we could, something crazy, pandemic levels come or whatever, bring us down to 17, 18. I think we discussed this last night. But these are some possibilities. I don't know if they're coming to play. We'll just have to see. But usually, you know, somewhere around the 618 retracement, at worst, no, I don't want to say at worst, but usually, normally, and that would fall in line with us still being in this red Ichimoku cloud to, to spit us out on the other side. 382, where we retrace right now, may stick. That's actually what I'm counting on. Uh, is something along that idea. So I think we're in good standing, but on the short move, short time, we should be going up for a few days. A, maybe a week or two. However long it takes it to climb back up there. I don't say it'd be faster fast or quick but that is what I am foreseeing here on these smaller time frames and zoomed into it on the 15 minute just kind of nail this little uh, bottoming structure there for our kind of stiletto shoe if you will looks more like one of those uh, clown shoes or something they the jokers wore Oh, Jesus, I chase everybody off. Dang it, dang it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My peeps. All right, give me just a second here. So, Bitcoin, that's what I got. Spending minutes going over that. And I'm expecting it to come back up to these levels. From here. We will go check out Demetra. This one I've got a small bag of that I'm holding. And currently, see, we collected that at KuCoin. I really have no place to get rid of this other than Uniswap at the moment, which, you know, don't know how much I trust that all the time for being there when you need it. I still have problems buying Unibot. Can't get those juicy prizes. So we'll look at this on KuCoin. out all the mess that I've got here. So Demetria, what do we have in store for you here? Let's grab out the old bones, the old fib bones and cast them then see what do the fibs say for you? Oh, Demetria, the fibs actually like you. You and that 50 moving average on the weekly. The fibs really respect you. Sometimes it will allow price to come back down to the 886. And for Demetria, we're going against Tether here on KuCoin. That's about uh, 1.3 cents for the 886 area. Possibility to be on the table just to throw that out there come here baby where, where is that little sucker at you man somehow i need to fix this where i can find these things easier so what i've got here is a 
ultra buy zone. Can I call it that? An ultra buy zone? This is like a juicy, juicy, juicy buy zone. And actually, I'm going to call this that. The ultra juicy buy zone. But right here at the 50 moving average, that's a pretty good buy zone. Normally, this is where I would say, hey, the 786, get a retracement there. This is where we could be looking at a bounce for this little guy, right? Shaboom. It coming back from these areas back up to that uh, 618 area for a retest. Yeah, you got about a 60% range there. That's in this price structure that's kind of cool if you ask me all right so now we kind of figured that out maybe finding support here on the 50 moving average on the weekly okay so cool other than that check a few indicators see how how they look yeah uh, they look like crap <laughs> they looked bottomed out okay so yeah, that's we want that. We want that stuff at the bottom. I like my stochastics low, and I like my RSI low. When I see them down there rolling around like two little puppies playing together under a blanket on the bottom, ooh, that's that's my buy signals. And on the three day, you you can see here on the three day how the uh, stochastics are just bottomed out. Rolling around in that mud pick like a happy pig. Just happy to be there. It's starting to curve up though. We like that curve up. That's when it starts counting. And that's when she counts. And then we got this RSI, which is also now ooh, at this bottom area, man. Can it go lower? Copy good. I don't know. It's sitting at 30 right now. That's ooh, that's in that juicy area. Got to keep his eyes on it. Now I would trust this indicator, Market Cipher, to actually give us a nice clue as a good buy signal. So I just wouldn't really rush in on the three day. Now that we come in on the daily to get a little better view of what's going on with Demetria. So overall we're saying, hey, maybe if it comes down to like 0.13 cents, excellent. Excellent buy zone, excellent buy zone, perfect. And it could happen, but it may not happen. May get a bounce here, so not not a bad idea to nibble on this little baby right here. But currently on the daily, we're still riding under the nine moving average, so we're still in a strong bearish trend until we recover over that nine moving average. Hey, this is no reversal happening. We can still definitely go down. So that's what we're looking at overall. We just now got across the one hundred over the two hundred, which. A lot of times, sometimes you see that, you see the little thing start switching up in the prize action. So, let's see what happens here. Whole hour. Uh, she is still under the weather, in my personal opinion. Um, no strong signs of a turnaround happening just yet as slowly rounding give it that so that kind of comes into play with these areas here and it may round out here at this bottom this um 786 area but it's, it's still got a little bit more to play out through here but we are it's very close to bottoming local bottom anyway in my personal opinion pattern wise well She's a little bit tricky because she's broken market structure several different ways, depending on how you look at it. Currently, the, holding the support level, we held this area before. So it's a key support level here at the 786. Flipped it for support to resistance way back over here. Closest thing I can give you for a pattern because we're rounding. That's the thing. So we can draw a line, but it's not going to be straight because we're rounding, which is accumulating so that would be our original trajectory and then we kind of moved over here 
which is kind of sticking, but now notice we kind of mumped our head there. So a little sideways action here, especially over this weekend. I don't think we will see a whole, whole lot uh, until the come, you know, about Tuesday probably. It's usually how that works. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, usually pretty, usually pretty good trading days. Until last Thursday when the all hell broke loose. But overall, it's in a fallen channel. This does have 64% chance to break upward. You just never know when. It is in the fallen channel until it isn't. And what we look for is a partial decline, which is what I think is what's happening now. It'll find an area. Um, instead of following the normal tra trajectory, it'll end up just going sideways in that area. And that's it getting prepared to break out. And what we'd like is a strong breakout. But sometimes what we get is a piddly breakout that just kind of rides things on down. Uh, so that's what we got to watch out for when that happens. Uh, and looking at the volume will give us all the information for that. So the Matria Locket, I think, is in great buy area, especially it drops down right in here. 0.013 in that area. Even hitting 0.022. That is your 38. 0.0229 to be exact on this particular chart. Anywhere in this area. DCA if, if it's one that you're going into. Of course, we still got we still got some down we can go through over the next, you know, we got months ahead of us. It looks like it wants to be green. So the big thing to look at right now, really for all coins in general, just to get a feel for the market, I'm always looking over on, I like total three. Total two is good. That just includes Ethereum. Sometimes Ethereum might have its own little thing going on. I don't know. But they generally follow very, very, very close. And what's noteworthy about total three here on the four hour chart is that First of all, we had a big breakout out of a falling wedge, which is huge, okay? That's good. I mean, number go up. We're excited about that. But then we forget about that as price starts coming on down, right? Because out of sight, out of mind. But in case you forgot, <laughs> that was it we were looking at. But we're still zooming out. We're still in a falling channel. Okay, so this overall is, is good. We're leveling now. We're doing that partial decline we were just talking about with this zone. We just tapped it again, right? We just tapped that. One more time, baby. One more time, baby. I can't live without your sweet love. One more time, baby. And then I promise. I promise. I, I quit calling you and hanging up at midnight. Yeah, one more time, baby. So what I'm seeing that I think is extremely bullish is from from that we're following pattern pattern. We we got the downward channel. We broke to we broke it. We broke it. Not only did we break it, baby. We measured, moved it right there. We just went boom. I let's just go ahead and get all this down stuff over with, baby. I got more stuff to do. Let's just get this over with quick. Rip the bandaid off. Get it all over with. So. In theory, in theory, that saves us from just wiggle jaggling all the way down here. In theory, we should get a bounce off of this and get a strong move up here and maybe even at, because of this, break to the upside. So can I get a hallelujah? Can I get an amen? Can I get, that's what I want to see, Road Dog. For those of you out there that have been hitting that like button, I, I just want to say thank you. Now, I ain't saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying it could happen. Because this is the daily. With the prices that have just been coming down. Prices just came down. But you know what? Momentum waves staying the same. They leveling out, baby. We're getting some divergences going on here. Not mega strong, but there's some divergence. We, we're getting close, baby. We're getting close. Where's I getting closest? There is actual divergence on the stochastics. 
stochastic the bottom of it slanting up to the top there you've got actual bullish divergence on stochastics that's going to help us out just a little bit you also got it on the uh, MACD wave it's going up it's a coming down so those little things will help us get a little bounce that we need in some of the altcoins just on the daily still got a lot of room to go because remember total three man we can still pull off this inverted head and shoulders we can still pull it off that's just a little wick it did not go below that head but I took her off of there but overall we get this pattern confirmed price comes back up to this trim line I, we are going to have one hell H's breakout for all coins so it's just a matter of time one other little thing that may be of interest if you're familiar with the um, with crypto faces trading method it's like see like money flow coming to the upside and it's a little preemptive but watch this as we got what we got uh, I guess to say safely for YouTube terms a possible handle and then you get a little what we call a trigger like on a spray bottle yes that's the friendly way to say it however that forms out those could give us a bouncy upside of course some other things are going to happen as that forms out but it's an idea that I'm going to keep my eye out for Total three. Nice to see that wick. Let's blow this up again. Nice. Nice to see that wick from right here at 307 billion. Pushing us up to 330 billion at the moment on the weekly. Weekly is getting ready to close here. Manana. Less than 24 hours. We will lock this in. And to me, that's good. What say ye on the regular candles? Nice wick too on that. So that we like. About about like good. I like it. I got like it. Still probably leave us with the bearish engulfing candle here. Just swallowing that one whole, but still being in this trend line. That's important. I'm looking at this Ichimoku cloud here. Hmm. We just ain't deep enough in it on the weekly. I thought we were. I thought we was right up in that. Was it the monthly? Monthly's not close. It must be the daily. Is it the daily? Oh, it's on Bitcoin. I'm on the wrong chart. Forgive me. Squirrel brain. So total three is basically saying, hey, man, our altcoins could get a, a nice little boost here. Not that we're going to the moon or anything, but things could turn around a little bit meaning that right now it's a juicy time to look at some of these projects and uh you know maybe dive in some of them some of them are some really juicy sales some noteworthy coins that may be worth looking at at this point in the market when we have these hellacious drops that scare us all and make us what happened can't believe you didn't see that camera Man, you're supposed to tell us so I can sell. I don't know. You hear all kinds of things. I've heard none of that. I'm just getting mine off the top of my head. When, this is when the market, when everything drops down, everybody starts getting a little bit scared, right? I would check fear and greed index. It's a good thing to check that too. I'm sure it is down a lot more since this big drop, right? Might ought to do that real quick. Hide your eyes. There's probably an easier way to do that that I am not aware of. But while that loads, let me scroll down here and make sure I'm not missing it. I don't see it down here on Trading B. Crypto Fear and Greed Index is an alternative dot me, which I never remember. Hey, we dropped, baby. Last week we were neutral, 54. Dropped into 37. Even more than yesterday when it was 39. So people getting a little fearful. When we move over into fear, 
know, take a huge drop, and I would, oh, hate to see what it would take to get us back to the low tens and nines. Gosh, I mean, we, I mean, we saw that. We were, we've already lived through that. We don't want to see that again, right? <laughs> Good Lord. So here we are back at some of those same prizes at 37. So, there's that. But here are your strong leaders in the top 100 market cap. And these are the ones that have made the biggest gains in the top 100 market cap for the whole year. These are the ones that are worth making note of, looking into, and, you know, maybe adding to your portfolio. INJ doing very well. ATK, a cash. Caspa, CFX, OK Big, go figure. A lot of those. Also, I've got a list of all the ones I've seen that are still up for the year. Of course, now we've got some of those that made it into the red. These are all the ones uh, that not long ago were the top runners for the whole year. Worth looking at, Pendle. That's when I'm personally going to start looking a little bit more into. Here's some favorites right here. Naka. So to me, I think, you know, this particular watch list has a lot of good coins to choose from and kind of narrow things down for them. When you think about it, if you're thinking about restructuring or you know, building, a, building a heavier bag and maybe something a more riskier, newer project. Some of these have been around for a little while, but uh, <clears throat> these are the ones, these are these are the strong runners for the whole year. So worth noting that. But overall, today, green day. The whole month has been, I mean, what has happened just recently has just wiped out our whole month, man. Look at that. We got decimated. Hex was went down. 57% this month. Rune went up 70% this month. We like Rune. We talk about Rune a lot on this channel. That is one of my uh, bigger holdings. Or one of my mandatory holdings for, uh, for this bull market. So, nice ones, nice ones. Things also bouncing on the hour here. Hey, Leandro, welcome to the stream, man. Glad to see you. How's that little one doing? Keeping you busy, I'm very sure. So, total three. <laughs> it has not looked pretty for the last few weeks, right? Just slow burn down but now we got a chance now we got a chance to see just a little bit more upside there and hopefully hopefully we will so some good ones to look at in my personal opinion i think i and j if you don't have some if you missed out on this one Even through all we've been with, this thing is not broken stride. I mean, she's flirting. This is this is one that's kind of been in a, a parabolic structure for a while. Just gradually making some gains. Now we kind of got a little double top area there. Let's check that out. Let's pull up the weekly here. Got some little bit of divergence going on there which is playing into our downward price action right now. So I'm still still looking at the possibility of this guy coming up to around $12.85, $14, right through there. Misa like it, and it went right into a great buy zone. And flip back up into this pattern. So very, very sweet. That was the lucky buy box right there that actually got hit. 
and the cool thing is we didn't linger here so i was looking for it to come and retest this 200 movement average it didn't make it all the way down there but nice bounce for this area regained the nine so hey <laughs> that's, what, that's that's what we say there uh on on the daily nine moving average came down hit the 100 moving average and just boom brick wall having to go sideways cannot pass cannot pass can we blow this up can you see that came down that <laughs> not quite a right angle but boom and it's just going parallel that is a strong strong that's a, that's a big side of strength especially it coming down in the middle of a green ichimoku cloud come on baby i gotta give you props for i and j has been a strong strong runner which i think that it can do i think i and j will move some mountains on this will run Oh, uh, Leandro says the little one's sleeping. Can we take a look at Dot? Yes, we can. Man, Dot. It says a juicy buy levels. These are the juicy buy levels for Dot. I just wish it would start getting out of the juicy buy zones for a little bit. It is one of my bigger bags. I am very much into Dot. But man, it's like Cardano or Cardano. What does he call it? <laughs> The dude from TV. He's like the 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 mainstream version version of BitBoy. Kramer, Kramer, just like Kramer says. Uh, Cardonzo. Man, they've been slow runners, dude. Kramer didn't say that. He just pronounces it as Cardonzo. So what? Here's what I do like about it. The triple bottom coming back in this support area is holding. That's what I like, and our indicator is being bottomed out. So the chances of us to keep coming down further, although it can always happen, are a lot less likely because, man, everything's been taxed on these larger time frames, just totally taxed. Now we do have some downward action on our stochastics here on the weekly we've had that before and it did bring us down oh good lord are we going to get something let's clean this out and let's take a look at this the cool thing and we definitely have rounding changing trends coming straight down uh, going a little sideways and now leveling out right so that's awesome we like to that this is a line that we want to see hold at $4.50. Needs to see that hold. So far it has been, and I like that. And I think that it will. There's always a chance for it to go down. And Oh, lordy, lordy. If you want a target for where to look if it goes down, I can give you one. It's already hit the main one from this move up. It's already hit it. This should be a bottom, seriously. Just from this particular move here that failed swing swing failure there. But should things for some some reason go south again, this is the juicy buy zone. And I might even trade some Bitcoin for some of this at these prices. Well, have to check that chart first though before I say that. Uh, but find some way to get in on this. If it should it happen at between 276 and 329, but that does not mean this is going to happen. Um, like I said earlier, I think this particular move that we had right here to here gave us this bottom where we are now. So I'm finding some confirmation that that's sticking and I'm also saying hopefully we'll know that in a couple we'll know this in a couple of days wherever this candle closes here and if it closes higher than this one I'll take that as a very good sign 
So keeping our eye on that, but there's there's some definitely some signs. We're still under the weather here, under the nine moving average. So as long as we're under the nine, we're still in a danger zone to continue downward. And we just recently lost that a few weeks ago, right? So it's kind of fresh. That wound still. Whew. So there are some signs here pointing this possible. Oh man, that will suck if this happens. But the, I'm just being straight. It's a possibility it could be leaning this way. So gotta keep our eye there. But a more realistic possibility that can still play out. You know, I mean, stochastics are coming down. That doesn't mean price necessarily has to come down too. It just means that price can get to an area where it just gets tired out, right? But what we got very common for this area. Where'd you go, baby? Is the pattern we've, we've just looked at. Um, Adam and Eve. And it looks like with this big drop and a lot of times, like when the FTX, when that big crash happened, this is what we started seeing happen at these bottoms after these big drops. Uh, the most common pattern you start seeing form is a, a type of double bottom. And it's usually an Adam and Eve just cause that sharp drop, you know, probably starts coming back and then we start getting used to it. And, and then we go into a, like an accumulation. So I've got my eye open and um, if I had to forecast, I would think that this is probably the most likely scenario. But if for some reason something does go south, that's that's my target area is right there. Most notably that one at about 326. But I think most of my buys have been somewhere between four and a half to five and a half dollars I'm sure I picked up some closer to six so my bags are under a little bit but I'm in this for the long haul that's part of the DCA strategy so look how far it has come down and let's say be a little pessimistic Usually what we hope is that, you know, we will get make it back up to all time high and then make it even higher. Meaning giving this one a target of somewhere between 70 to 80, $87 from here, right? But a lot of times in the last bull market, those coins, didn't, a lot of coins didn't make it back up to their all time highs. It was a little bit of, a, little bit of a bummer because we got kind of spoiled with things, right? But let's say it's kind of a bummer on this one. This one doesn't make it up to his all time high. Let's say it just makes it back up to $35. Man, that's a good six, seven, maybe eight X, depending on where you buy this. Not bad. So it's, it's a good one, regardless, to be in for long term hold. But then again, what if with this mass adoption to crypto that we're having that's just getting started as the world saying what's crypto they're saying hey man <laughs> where can i find me some blank 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 enu coin and we start getting up to these levels man uh, you know 1800 you know an 1820x those are the bull market numbers that i am looking for and uh i'm not gonna pass it up on dot i believe in dot They just need to, they just need to get their, need to get going, baby. <laughs> need to start seeing some stuff. Leandro says, I've been having a look on the dot uh, Bitcoin uh, parent. It looks like a double bottom pattern on the daily. One thing I will try to start doing a little bit more on here is leaning a, bit, a little bit more into some ETH and uh, Bitcoin pairings. Just grab this one here on Binance. Ooh, looks like it's been a been a minute since I looked at this one. So Binance would, oh, I'm on the weekly here. Um, 
And you're talking about on the daily. See, on the weekly, though, we got a support area right there. I just want to mark that real quick. I think we're currently under that. So weekly, market cipher doesn't like it. It's giving it a red dot, stochastic to the upside. It's saying some more downside on the weekly for dot Bitcoin. It is definitely at the lows, at the lows. So, um, man. If it comes down to these juicy areas, yeah, I would definitely trade some Satoshis for this. The whole reason that I'm in a lot of these projects anyway is for how that they will perform against Bitcoin. It is starting to make sense. We might have a little bit more of a drop there. So we got this huge humongous misshapen fallen wedge where we have a big run up and then kind of the wedge kind of starts a little bit lower it's like it's got a broken nose there different ways to look at that so the rules of the game are you need at least two touches on one side and three on the other to confirm a trend line Personally, I like to go with the candle bodies, bodies to bodies, and that gives me the strongest results personally. Now, this one's flirting with, um, busting that all to crap on the weekly. And that's what I got there. Still inside the pattern, and this one is playing out to the very tip. And, you know, at some point, she's got to figure out which way she's going to go, up or down. But we are below this level here, so, hmm. Let's see what we got as far as maybe a double bottom on the daily. Yes, I see what you're looking at right there. And it's where it came out of the pattern, which is good, and then came back and retested it. So it looks like we kind of solidified that we're respecting this trend line again. And then maybe, is it time? Maybe can we get a, a breakup? Can this be our partial decline for this? This part of the thing here. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. This one's just a tad bit lower. Just a, I mean, just a tad bit. Right there with nice, nice double bottom. I like that. And so this is on the daily. Break out of a falling wedge now. I guess if you want to look at it that way. You look at the patterns within the patterns. Actually, it's more like this thing, a megaphone pattern. So, yeah. More upside. The question is, are we turning around? Or are we confirming about a bottom? Too early to tell, but this is the first stages. This is the first steps toward getting there. So, great. Because this was back in June. June 21st when we first hit down through these areas it has not been a fun ride just kind of have to stash this one away and forget it but uh i do like those staking rewards that's kind of cool notable areas to contend with is um 1954 satoshis it's easier to talk about satoshis too i'm just saying so it's 19 or 1000 no, it is it. 1,954 Satoshis. I'm just saying 1,954 Satoshis. Definitely that area and right at 2,200 Satoshis. Don't have to go with all the point zero 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 zero. <laughs> I, mean, I, I do like I do like that. So hopefully that will hold.
What say ye? If some crazy drop comes, that's our zone there to... Uh, this is a low ball offer here. Um, Bitcoin, goes on a, Bitcoin goes on a crazy tear and passes up all the altcoins, though. I don't know, maybe. A juicy buy in Satoshis would be 942 Satoshis or 1,094, just right under 1,100 Satoshis. Should crap hit the fan and, and we go south. Over this area right here, and I just marked it just by levels. And the levels I marked just by price structure. When I pulled the Fibonacci here, they come up to the 618 and also the 886 areas there. Make that one line up just a little bit better there. So notable areas to keep in mind for targets in Satoshi's, if especially if you're just now tr buying dot with Bitcoin, because the rule of the game or the the whole thing is to double your Bitcoin, grow your Bitcoin, right? So getting into these areas, we're, we're at seventeen hundred and twenty-one big uh, Satoshi's for dot. So we got almost about 13 and a half percent increase getting back up to this 618 area where we just come from and 20, almost 30 percent to get back up to that 886 area. Same area that we were in just a few months ago in April. So imagine in a couple of months you can get 25 percent more Bitcoin. I don't know. You. Put 0.1 in there and you get 0.125 back. But when you look at the bigger picture and what's possible, yeah, what, what if you can double or triple your Bitcoin? What if you put a quarter Bitcoin in there and you get, you know, Three quarter or one whole Bitcoin back. That that's what I'm kind of looking for. That's when I'm gonna like it. And and sure, this may be at the height of the market or whatever. Whenever you get this back, but then you got some Bitcoin, and there's a lot you can do with Bitcoin. It is, after all, a store of value, and. You want the Bitcoin. <laughs> now, whether you want to sell for cash at the top of the, the bull market or, or whatever, I recommend a different strategy myself, but we'll talk about that stuff later. Got some different ideas there. But either way, selling for cash or selling for whatnot. Dot could either reach somewhere between $70 to $80 a coin, possibly, but even reaching $35 would be awesome. And uh, you could, you know, grow your Bitcoin by 25% or you could put it in here and then watch it, you know, 4 or 5x, 3 to 4x, let's say that. Uh, but nice one. It's my hopes for it anyway. But it looks like we're bottoming out, just haven't got a breakout or anything confirmed, officially bullish there. I do want to take a look at the moving averages just a little closer here. What's notable is we are above the nine moving average. So that's the main thing. To ride an upward trend like we did here, need to kind of, hopefully more consistently, be above the nine moving average. And you'll see every trend that you got coming down, whatever time frame, daily, weekly, whatever, doesn't matter. If you're on a downtrend, you're below the nine, always below the nine. When that trend changes, trend changes, you're above it. The nine is the nine is the magic number, darling. It always returns to itself and it has all the mysteries. Nine moving average. From there you go to the twenty-one, which is two plus one equals three. It is the magical number of three. This is on the Fibonacci trail rabbit hole thing. We'll not get in not to all the esoteric ideas. There are a whole lot of esoteric ideas in the world of trading, though. WD Gann being one of the most fascinating. The one man who actually predicted the day of the stock market crash. I mean, like years ahead. And check him out. 
stories about this dude are amazing. It wasn't didn't just stop at the charts. So overall, Dot is looking good as long as it stays above the nine. Now, it likes to flip flop in and out of it sometimes, but right now it looks like it, it's it's doing good. What's going to be better is when that nine flips over that twenty one moving average, like what it did right back over here, and then it'll feel a lot better um, for confirming more of an upward trend when we start seeing that and getting priced above the 50 so we're, we're we're gaining our ground back in my personal opinion and, and yeah double bottom pattern here but you know it can we're just starting it right we just now reached the bottom part right we can still kind of flirt flirt around these prices in these satoshi areas so in my personal opinion if you're trying to buy a dot with satoshis with your bitcoin not bad not bad area but don't blow all your bitcoin here because that little baby may go in that's just a dollar cost average area i believe i would recommend the thing you want to keep a watch on as far as that goes is this little guy here called bitcoin dominance and that's what we're hoping for we're hoping that this trend line here will just break away and we'll just get a dump in bitcoin dominance and that will be awesome for all our, our altcoins Signs are saying it could happen, but you know, believe it when I see it, but it's a possibility. It is setting itself up nicely. I don't have a solid trend line and it could go even lower to break that trend line. So it's got a little bit of a range. If I, we go to the ends of these wicks here, yeah, it's got some stuff to play with. It started going a little bit parabolic going to the upside so we actually do have another trend line which it did break right here and you can see how it kind of just rode it up it's the thing about these trend lines i like now that i zoom in my trend line is off so i'm going from right here let's go from the bodies so that ball heats at this body and it'll be riding underneath it on this version catching more for this wick being the test than right end up and sometimes you'll see that when you draw your trend lines you'll see them you get the breakout all we think is going downhill from here and then you get a ride up to a level then we come down so all it's doing that it's actually making some other patterns the pattern is in currently this falling channel is actually a bullish pattern so it's got a chance to get a bounce here and then cool right back up and we don't want to see bitcoin dominance do that we don't we don't we don't we don't not yet that's when bitcoin steals the show it would be really great right now it would be really awesome right now we gotta zoom out a little bit back to the weekly i guess my prediction for uh big news for the first two weeks of uh Bitcoin, other things kind of only just drop. Not play out. We'll leave that over here, though. So we got rejected basically right off this 200. That's the sign we got, uh, hopefully, getting something to come down. But see, we've been in this range here, right? If we can come back in this and get a sharp pull toward the downside, whether it comes all the way back to the bottom or not that's going to be when our altcoins are taking off that's actually what we want to see we want to see this sucker just come keep on coming down and it kind of looks a mess the way i've got it right now but we got our eyes on the on these metrics right now it's finding support on the 21 moving average and it, you know it may range out here for a little bit it may decide to keep on going up so that will suck but even when it comes down just a little bit we we can feel in our altcoins like today being a green day with dominance coming down come on down dominance come on down a little bit more love to see it get back here to these areas back where we were uh what was that may april may but it was it was boring then too Leandro says, looking at the alt sources BTZ, something that I learned here too, by the way. Yeah, that is the OG thing. Right before there were stable coins, it was just Bitcoin. But, uh, you know, that's my guess. That's the most of us that's been in here. That's our game plan is to build Bitcoin. 
Man, that's just been a it's been a good way to do it with the altcoins. It's been not as great this last cycle. Hopefully, hopefully we will get our, our turn this time. 2017, it was remarkable at the games and in, in Bitcoin against altcoins. Striga says, I sell for tacos. <laughs> Ready to see XRP fly. Let's check in on XRP real quick. Hmm. Look at that. July. Look at that. Got into no oh man. Mine is just sitting in a wallet. I have not been strategizing or anything for it yet. Because I don't have it on an exchange. If I had it on an exchange, I probably would have some limit orders set. Um, man, that would have been juicy to catch that. Imagine you sell off, you come back, and you double your bags right there. That. If you plan ahead, you can you can do these things. But if you're not really thinking about it, it's not always that easy to catch these little babies. And this one, I just, I don't know, just don't want to leave my amount on exchange. It's a long-term hold, like for most people, most people are holding this one long-term. A lot of people do like to trade this one. And either way, right now, 51 cents, hey, that's pretty good, pretty good buy place. Not bad, definitely 42 cents. Did you really wick, am I reading that right? You really wick down to 42 cents. Baby, baby. So here's the deal with XRP. <laughs> Moving averages are definitely crossing uh, bearishly. Nine's getting ready to cross over the 100 shortly here. But, well, here I was going to tell you the deal. I thought that was my 100 moving average. She's looking strong. She's still looking strong. Big, oh, big fall back there. But see, the moving averages here are still of all pointing up. They're getting a little droopy, but we got Mama Bear here, or Papa Bear here. Mama Bear, I don't know. This is a Granny Bear. I call it Granny Bear. You got the final say so. Mama Bear, Papa Bear, whatever. They're all strong. They're going up. It's just the two little wrangly little bears right here that are just playing around and falling around and breaking their necks and everything. They're the ones that have got to settle down. Other guys are kind of calm and still going upwardy. Upwardy is the word for the day. Upwardy. So, do I want to race anything? Do we need these levels? Don't need this so much anymore. So you're asking me what she about to guess or what you say? She broke market structure, that's for sure. Bounce back into it, that is ballish. That was a great buy zone. Uh, I think she's gonna be just fine. That was just a lucky break right there. Now, a lot of times when they do that, it makes me a little untrustworthy because they, like, you know, they punch the hole in the wall there, right? Not always a bad thing. Look, you got that over here too. Had a solid trend line here. Bunch of the hole through the wall. Did it ever come back and dump down through there? Nope. Nope. Never affected it ever, ever again. Uh, you know. You got the lucky wick. You got the lucky wick. If you buy, you buy here. Yeah, you buy the lucky wick. You lucky. You lucky. You buy lucky wick. So a sample fib should give us an idea of what to expect here to up to the 618 area. So getting back to 68 cents, 74 cents. Yeah, just gonna take it a little time. Travel around here side soon. If you want an XRP, good place to get in, in my personal opinion. She ain't going down. 
That's a sign of strength right here with this big wick and coming back into this pattern. Let me get rid of this parabolic move. That's what I was looking at was this rounded structure, this orange line, which we wicked below, which normally I say, oh, you messed that up. They like they were still below it, but we don't put that much stock into those. Those are for guidance only. They are not lines in the sand. Mine should be straight. Lines should be straight. Hmm. Tis true. So these wildly little moving averages, yeah, I really want to keep price depressed a little bit until we finally get things turned around. But that 200 moving average is holding great. This trend line is holding great that I just messed up right there. Oh, this is, son, you're in the buy zone right there. Right there. That's the juicy buy zone for the time being. And coming back up to those levels, 20 or 18, 36% gains. It's a gift, I'm telling you, it's just a gift. And see what happens when you break to the upside of a bearish, or a bearish pattern? Parabolic action, just straight, straight freaking up, man. Really exemplified right here on this chart. So love it, but that one, that breakout came whew, hard and fast from that falling wedge at 48 cents, right? So, you know, this time back in July or a little bit before, <laughs> let's say five weeks ago, we were bored as bored to tears at 48 cents and then it popped up and doubled. And, and now we're, we're at 51, so hey. Been here before. You might want to second guess about not being in it when you see a big pop up like that. Striker says, I was hoping for lower, but uh, mad orders were coming. Yeah, I imagine, yeah. Man, those order books, sometimes when all this stuff right in the middle of it, when it's going on, right in the very hour and all this stuff. It's crazy. I mean, you're seeing things just fluctuate. I mean, we're seeing Bitcoin going up. I mean, fluctuating a thousand dollars, you know, split seconds. And you're just punching numbers in, hoping something gets hit. <laughs> and market orders are horror. That is, that is death. That is Russian roulette to try to put a market order in when something like that is going on. In the height of battle, and oh gosh, Ooh. I think you're buying something at 44 cents and you're really paying 58 for it or something crazy. So shorter term time frames in this juicy little buy zone. The, now I'm gonna have to race because it's in my way. I can't see things. Nice and flagging out. Got another level. We basically got another level right here. What did we flip? Looks a little toppy right now. Like you're thinking about coming down. Lost the moving average or lost the nine there. Still looks good. What's the four hour? Four hour might be a little less noisy there. Above the non moving average. That's awesome. I think we're in recovery land right here. Just zoning out and probably real range. Would be my number one biggest guess. We'll get us a nice. Get us a nice little juicy range right through here. And hopefully mostly right through there, but we could get crazy and come down to these 48 areas. 50 to 52 cents, somewhere through there. 
How long can we expect that? Maybe higher. Maybe up to 53 cents. Look at that one. So on the daily there, well, even on the four hours, four hours suggests that we could do this for half a week, if not more. In other words, that's about three or four days ranging through here. Looking for some size life out of the MACD. Don't have that bearish turnaround or even a bearish or a bullish turnaround or even a bullish cross yet. Uh, we do have our histograms kind of looking a little bit to the upside. Notice that this little hump here is a little higher than this hump, meaning that this hump to the hump hump went up the up up right that way as our price went down that's giving us a little bit of divergence there on at least that indicator do not have that on the rsi where i think it really counts for a really strong move but it's a start and you have to appreciate that sometimes <laughs> sometimes it's just the small things that give you the joys in life like that little bounce we had hopefully my little baby AGIX you came down all the way to 16 cents bless your little heart most of mine is moon bagged I just got you sitting there I mean I'd love to see you up a little higher but you know didn't cost me nothing one of the few things I was able to moon bag this and FET I've had a hard time moonbagging some of these guys. Just almost getting there, but not quite big enough. And then all this happened. But I did get this one. I like it. She's at a good buy area there. So she's got a lower low. So <clears throat> there's another area to retest there. At some point in the future. AGIX, what you doing, baby? I wanted to zoom out and see what we got on. Oh, look, that's a cop and handy. They came way down. Actually, the price does go up into it. It does resemble a cup of handle. How far did price come down? Is it says it's still qualified? It came down below the 618. Two thirds of the way, this general rule. To keep this up otherwise you may be just looking at uh, you know another big old rounded double bottom which is nothing wrong with they are very beautiful they're definitely money earners let me tell you it takes a little time but the rounded bottoms will earn you some some money so we actually broke through that little area there in 786 just looking to see if there's a possibility. I think there's a possibility that we can see this sucker come down to 11 cents. I'm just saying, just throw that out there. Hate to be negative Nancy, but it can happen. Let me clear this out. See what we're looking at here. There is some slight rounding. I like that. I like it. I like it. Is it going to save us? Probably not. You had that, and then you broke through, which made you weak. So now I've got to go from here to there. Make sure I'm not missing anything. So the outer parameters of what we're possibly looking at is just a gigantic falling wedge. She probably saw that already. It ain't nothing new, Road Dog. Any, anybody can My third grader can tell you that. But we're finding a point of partial decline, hopefully, if this area holds. That's what we got to see. It just went and made a new double bottom, though, or a new lower low, and that sucks. So, good lord, how far down did you go? I have not the number there to tell me. So do this 
fib there. Uh, you can hope to get back up to 22 cents AGIX, but you're going to struggle there, I believe. 22, 24 cents. This is what I got for you, but uh, man. To get back up to that 414, that 200 movement average there, that 141% on this particular thing. 31 cents. Oh, that's just work cut out for you. I'm not seeing it come anytime too soon here. Although on the daily, you got the green light on VMC. Maybe this partial decline will hold. Get that little guy right there. up the mood somehow we got on reggae night so showing some signs that maybe maybe things are turning around just looking for a little bit of divergence going on seeing a little bit on histogram on MACD not so much yet on anything else got it on the stochastics here um, they're starting to go up from the bottoms here. I'm looking at the bottom peaks here leaning up. So a little bit of divergence there. Kind of helping to balance us out a little bit. Put the brakes on things. It's got a lot of recovery to do. Still under the 9 on AGIX. Rune, though, on the other hand, is still going off, going crazy. And we like that because I like Rune. Rune is pretty awesome. Rune is just going to make it rain. Like a big glass explosion. Sucker Arnie hit up to two dollars on Rune. Currently still above the nine moving average on the daily it is making a crazy tear. So this is what you want to see your charts look like, right? These are the signs that you want to see on your daily charts, how these moving averages d do. Because before it all gets crazy and everything, they're just all kind of tightened up here to bust together, doing some crazy stuff. You're losing it under the nine, popping above that nine and getting up when it crosses that 21. Good sign, something good's going to happen, and it just kept on going. And they're all just flip flopping over each other. And even after topped out there, she's still got energy to go. And what gets wicked often gets candlestick, so maybe we'll see $200 again, but a more solid price. And Ichimoku Cloud suggests that out of rune. I like this one. One that I've been collecting for a nice while, even when I thought it, we had a juicy double bottom over here and it faked me out. She made up for it. Well, with punches, baby. Can't always be right. It was a possibility that did not work out. But some juicy prices out of loon. So if you got in it at 78, so you got in it anywhere from 78 to 90 cents, right? You got that. Are you happy now? Are you happy? Are you happy with 93% returns? Hell yeah. And I believe I was talked about this before, a possible Wyckoff accumulation event here with this being maybe a spring type area. Usually it plays out a little bit quicker than that, but uh, very reminiscent of that. We are in a bottom range, accumulation range, in my personal opinion, a breakout of a falling wedge. Things look good for rain long term. I'm just saying. I got a target at 2.91 cents to eventually be hit. And even FOMOing in here, which I do not recommend because you will feel the pain, but eventually you would get 67% return. If you can buy the FOMO and wait for a better entry, you might actually get 140% return. Drake just wants it all. I'm never happy. I just want it all. Just 
Drago says he just wants. He says he wants it all. <laughs> Strega, I know there's lots of altcoins out there, and I know they're all shiny and appealing. Some of them are just beautiful, so enticing. But it's so hard to collect the whole set. I've tried, and I just can't do it, Strega. I'm just trying to save you, man. <laughs> As hard as you try to get them all, you can't, man. It's not like Pokemon. I don't even know if you can do Pokemon and get them all, but you can't get them all in crypto. I just wanted to share that with you, Strega. <laughs> not a member. How's it going, man? Well, the time is now 12.26. I went 30 minutes over again, somewhere thereabouts. Oh well, it's been fun, had fun, just wish I'd covered more ground. I appreciate you guys for being here, thank you so much for joining me tonight, if you can. For those of you out there have been hitting that like button, I, I just want to say thank you. Thank if you very much. It's possible, but before I leave, let me bring up this little thing right here, this little uh, thing. If you're looking for a Tangent Wallet, which I highly recommend because they are cool, Man, so much better than Ledger and Trezor. So much easier to use so much in, and more secure. And I can explain that for people that need to explain it. Um, definitely an extra layer of security there. But great wallet. Giving away three when I reach 1,000 subs. And we're edging closer to that. Getting away from videos and, and just doing the streams only. Kind of slowed down, pulling them, reeling them in. Um, but we're slowly getting there. But that just gives you more opportunity to get a free wallet because I'm giving away three sets of them. Uh, I should be getting the code that I will give to three lucky winners and the details on how to participate that are in the description below. It's really easy. Really easy. Kind of like just spell it out here. Just mention tangent in the comments. All right, that's all I got, guys. I will see you tomorrow night on Sunday night. We'll take a look at the weekly close. See how Bitcoin is performing right now, though. Oh, she's struggling, baby. She's still struggling. I think she wants to go up, though. That's just my personal feelings on it. <laughs> we'll look at it more in depth tomorrow night. But I appreciate you for being here. Uh, trade carefully. See you tomorrow night as soon as I find the right button to push. There it is. Oh, let's do it. Come on.